Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is our follow-up session of ServiceNow Service Portal training. Before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have around 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about Portal. What are we going to learn? We are going to learn about what is a portal and then portal form. What is a portal? Portal is a parent record which is used to manage portal settings in one location like URL, CSS, service catalog, knowledge and home page. Portal is an alternative UI experience to the standard platform UI. It is used to define common pages. It is compatible with different devices. As I mentioned earlier, service portal is compatible with mobile view, desktop or tablet. So portal is a, is, is a location where you can access multiple portal settings like you have URL catalog. Uh, if you want to have, if you want portal to route it to the catalog, that's what you can mention. If you want portal to route to knowledge, that's what you can mention homepage those kind of settings can be done in just one location in just one portal record and how exactly you can access portals so under service portal application you have a module called portals once you will click that it will open up the list of records list of portal records you have in your instance and that's what you can see the portals if you want to create it you can also create it with the same module portal form as you can see on the screen, we have this portal record which has different fields and this is what portal record is. So let's talk about the fields of this portal. The first field we have is title of the portal which is at the top where you have to mention the title of the portal. The next field we have is URL suffix. Now, what kind of URL suffix you want to mention for that portal? That's what you can mention in this particular field. So, as an example, if you have your domain name dot service dash now dot com slash, and then if you will put this suffix, this will open up that portal. And that's the reason it's called URL suffix. The next field we have is home page, which is the main landing page. So if user enter that URL with that suffix, then what kind of home page you want to show to the user? That's what you have to select in this particular home page. And this home page is referencing to the pages table, which has a list of pages. And that's what you can mention any one page here. Then we have social QA knowledge base. Social QA knowledge base is for the portal. So what kind of knowledge base for social QA you want it to be selected? That's what you can mention here. So basically it identifies a knowledge base to use the source of social elements. That's what you can mention here. KB homepage. KB homepage identifies the page to display when knowledge base is launched. So when knowledge base is launched via service portal that which knowledge base it should trigger it should go which which particular page that's what you can mention in this particular KB home page. Login page. So for example if your users are not logged in to your instance and if you are just giving the portal URL. Now, what if if they directly hit the URL, do you want them to enter some username and the password? Now, this is the login page landing. So when users are not logged in and you want them to put the username and the password, in that case, you can mention that page we have created. That is a login page. You have to mention that login page here, which will show up the username and the password field to enter. Then we have logo. Logo is at the left top. You have to mention what kind of logo you want to put for your portal. Application scope. 
what is the name of the application scope you have you have to select it from here 404 page now this one is related to if your users are getting 404 error in that case what kind of page what kind of message they should see that's what you can route to that particular page catalog home page this one is identify the page to display when the catalog is launched so when catalog is launched what kind of page you want to display to the users that's what you can select here so if users are on your portal and if you are going through uh, going to the service catalog then you can see it right from here this page will be displayed to the users main menu now ServiceNow has also segregated this section that is menus menu items so if you want to create menu items you can create it in a main menu in the menu list it's a ta different table you create those menus and what kind of options those menu would have that's what you can mention and you can just refer that record in this main menu so if portal will be loaded user will see those menu options whatever you have developed in the selected menu next we have theme now this is the theme of the portal so if you have created some themes and you want to mention and it might happen that in your organization you have created a dedicated theme that every portal should look like with that theme in that case you can create a separate theme with some CSS styling and all and then you can select that theme in every portal you want for your organization then we have icon so what kind of icon you want to display in the browser or maybe on your mobile home screen in that case you can select this icon you can upload the image and that will be icon of the browser default if you want to keep this portal as a default that's what you can check this box so you will have multiple portals but you can keep the default as one and you can keep one portal as a default that this is a default portal now out of the box you will always find that this sp that is a service portal of out of the box of service now will be default portal then we have quick start config now this is the place with the value whatever value you are entering in this field it will configure the portal to be used by branding editor that's what it will use this quick configuration and then we have CSS variables now CSS variables are still the style definitions what kind of style you want on your portal now this will override the theme level styling so for example you're selecting the theme in the portal but you have still mentioned some styling in the css variables and that will override that theme then we have three related list now under this portal record we have three related list the first one is search sources so on the portal if you have a search box and you want to uh, you want to type something so you can, user can search for any keyword now where exactly you want to search those keywords that you have to mention here where search should look for the words entered then you have knowledge base so if you remember we selected at the top the Q, social QA knowledge base but we did not select any kind of knowledge base at the top so now you can add multiple knowledge bases so if user wants to search anything or or you want to show uh, the records or the knowledge records from what knowledge base that's what you can mention in knowledge bases then we have catalogs so in service now as you know you can create multiple catalogs now what kind of catalogs you want to uh, display to the users or involved in your portal that's what you can mention here as of now service catalog is selected but if you want other catalogs you can also add it with the help of edit uh, rated list that's what you can do so this is about portal form 
Now let's take a look in our personal developer instance that how exactly this looks like in your personal developer instance. So let's take a look. This is my personal developer instance and this is this portal record. So if you remember, if I go back, this is the service portal application. I'm clicking on portals. This will show me the list of portals. As of now, I'm just uh, clicking on this service portal. This is the existing one and the baseline provided by ServiceNow out of the box. Now, these are the fields which we saw, icons. Now, how exactly this get displayed? So if you click on try it, you will see this this will be routed to SP now, even if I do one thing I just go back and just keep SP now this is the suffix we were talking about so if you will go here it says URL suffix as SP I'm going here and now I'm entering just press enter it will open the same portal so if you want to give uh, this URL to the users, you can give that. And if uh, you, you want users to go to the landing page that maybe it's a login page that will be selected automatically by this page. So this is the search. Now, as an example, you can see we have request something, knowledge base, get help, community. This is our catalog. If I click on catalog, now this is the catalog portal which we were talking about that what kind of catalog you want to display. So that's what you will get here. If I click here, browse by categories. Now it will show me all those categories that are related to my service catalog, not any other catalog. If I will add other catalog that I can also see it. Let's, let's uh, do that. Uh, if I go at the bottom and I click on edit, I have not created any new catalog, but I'm just checking if I do have, I have a technical catalog. If I save here, and if I reload it, now you can see we have all catalogs. And if I go here, you can see I'm getting the option service catalog and technical catalog. So that's a difference. So let me show you again. As of now, let me remove this. If I'm removing this technical catalog and keeping just one, and I go to my portal, that is service catalog, you can see now it is not giving me an option to select the catalog because only one catalog is selected. And that is the reason it is just displaying service catalog. But if you want to add multiple catalogs, you can do it via here. Let's go to home page. Here we have knowledge base. If I click here, knowledge base, this will show you all the knowledge bases I have. So currently these are the categories. So I have IT, email, these are just categories. These will search the knowledge articles from your knowledge base. So if I go to my record, I just have one knowledge base as of now that is IT. What if, if I add uh, a new knowledge base? I have not created, uh, but let's add this one. If I'm adding this, let's see if we see any difference. So it was showing all knowledge base, but now, uh, sorry, it was showing knowledge base, just one knowledge base that was IT, but now it is giving me an opportunity to select it, which knowledge base I need to search. Now, this is kind of opportunity for the users. So it, I think the functionality is quite similar what we had in catalog. So let's go back to home. And if I click here, knowledge, it will take me to the same knowledge and I go back. Now this is the search. How can we help? So if I search, for example, uh, email, I press enter. It will start searching. Now, as you can see, it says all sources we have here, like knowledge bases, question and answers and catalog. Now, how exactly it is selecting it? So if you remember, we had 
three sources in the related list and that is this one search sources so as of now it is searching in knowledge base question and answers and catalogs so whatever user is searching wherever you want to do searching you can mention here so this is the search sources and search sources is also in service portal application and these are the sources you have you can also create new sources it will just query those records just to fetch and where exactly you want to search them that's what you can do with the help of service portal uh, search sources in our next session we are going to show you how to create a new portal with new themes so it will be a demo session practically that how can you create a portal so thanks for watching my video please subscribe like and share my channel and all my videos have a great day